Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today we have something really exciting to share with you. A parking lot script. This is best for the early studies, so you can quickly exam many different options before you really invest your time and energy into the details. Now let's step right in. To begin with, the script uses a similar layer system as the earlier video shows the road intersection script. Once you load the script, it will create three layers in Rhino. The parking boundary, parking road, and annotation. Turn this toggle on. Okay, it generates these three layers. The first step, I think it would be good to drop a point on this annotation point layer. So that will start to give a live feedback about some basic analysis of our layout for us to monitor our design options. Next, let's go to the parking boundary layer and draw the uh, parking boundary. Uh, let's assume we have a parking lot, something like this. Okay, you can see the information here is updated. And this point you dropped into the annotation point layer that you can control to locate your data. Let's step into some other features of this script. The first feature is you can control the angles of all the parking stalls. So you can go to here or use this remote grasshopper panel here. You can basically control from negative 60 degree to 60 degree. So this will give you the typical 30, 45, 60, and 90 degree parking and any range between those thresholds. The driveway width is determined by two factors. The driveway itself, it's one way or two way. It's controlled by this Boolean toggle. The driveway also is controlled by the angle of the parking stalls. So the relationship between the parking space angle and uh, the driveway width is defined by standards. And I'm just using the most basic standard. So the script will automatically figure that out for you. So you do not need to go back to a chart to find. So this is the minimum requirement so you can fit more parking into this area. The next feature, you can pick which edge to use as the guide direction for the internal parking here. Since we don't know how many edges there are, so I remember all the edges in the range between zero to one. So it is controlled here. So you can change the internal parking directions through so this slider. There's a convenient feature, it's this toggle. It will show you which edge is using for the internal parking guide direction. Let's change our layer to parking road. Let's assume there's a road we want to cut through this parking lot. And once you draw that, you want to turn this toggle off. And it will show you the after intersect of this road, what is the parking condition looks like. So you can use this toggle to compare the before and after. See how your road design layout will impact your parking efficiency. can draw more road if we want. And we can compare. We just take those out. And turn back our parking layout without those roads. And of course, after you had all these features, what you can do is use the Galapagos, try to help you to find the most efficient parking. So let's do that. I'm only control the angle of the parking space and also, so I'm only control 
the angle of the parking spaces and also which edge used for the internal parking to use as the guideline. And I want to minimize this number here, the efficiency, try to make it as small as possible. So that's why I set that to minimum. And I think we can just left the rest as default and start to run. So what is this tool doing? It's trying to uh, evolutionary to find the best uh, solution to minimize this efficiency by only adjust this to slider here. So that's why you'll see the slider is popping like this. And also the geometry will update lively. I'm in the slow mode, but if you change to the fast mode, it won't update the graphic. It just will do the calculations. We just pause the solver. I think this is good enough. We can leave this wrong to see if it can surprise us or not. But probably for this case, it's good enough. So we get an efficiency of 301 total parking will give us 841. So that's a brief introduction of this parking layout too. And uh, I will see you next time.